Kia ora, Robert. No mai. Hey to mai. Welcome to our place. Morena. How are you today? I'm really good. You're going to make our kitchen rule today, but Oi. you rule the world. The mm. Mapairawa o Te Ao, the best cookbook in the world. Yeah, I mean, it still gives me a thrill. It really does. It was four years ago, actually. The people tell the story of the food, and the food is a storytelling piece. He kōrero tā te kai, yes, and that the kai itself can actually speak. So yeah. what sort of language are we speaking with the kai of today? So today we're going to make a kawai baked in banana leaf with coconut oil from Samoa and a few spices and stuff. So that's our kind of a he our hero dish. Then we're doing a salad made with spinach, cucumbers, tomatoes, and it's dressed with coconut. And then we're doing our kind of version of a banana split using coconut sugar, a bit of rum, Bananas, of course, and a siami popo sauce. Karawe. Yeah, te mahi tuatahi. What are we going to get on to first? Let's get on with the fish first. Well, can you grab the fish? Okay. Kahawai, kai hea koe. Atahu, it's very meaty. Yeah, well, kahawai is, and, and this is a good thing about kahawai, it's got depth of flavour. Mm. So it roasts well, it grills well, it holds up to flavours. Uh, yeah. So we'll take our banana leaves right here. He mama te kimi wine, are these easy to find? If you can't find them in someone's garden, which in South Auckland's really easy, you can go to an Asian or a Pacific food market and get the frozen ones. We're using this like a tin foil, so it's to, it's to roast the fish in. And it, it, it contains the flavours, but also adds a flavour of its own. Can I eat a rinse those really quickly? Right. Make sure there's no bird dew on them. <laughs> All right. That noise there now, that is quite important, isn't it? You can rinse them in really hot water because that helps soften them. What you're trying to do is soften up the leaf mm -hmm. so when you fold it, it doesn't break up. So you can run it right on the flame like this and it's ready when it starts to get that bright green look. You see how that's happening uh, already? Tini right. tetai, so the colour changes. A little bit or you dip it in boiling water. So here's an important thing. You put the, the front of the leaf on the bottom, just like you do with tin foil. Mm -hmm. So that's our base. Next thing is we're going to make our oil base to flavour the fish. Samoan, extra virgin, organic coconut oil. We're going to put some in a bowl, we'll just squeeze some of that in. The coconut oil is solid. And I'm going to get you to grate some ginger. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about taking the peel off, just give it a good yeah. wash. Boy, it smells good, the ginger, doesn't it? Aye, how are we? You know how the French have the compound butters mm -hmm. that they put on steak? And this is, this is our version of that. So we'll take our baking dish. No, te fari. Make yourself at home, I love it. And we lay our leaves in here. So this is like where you might use foil in other cases. Yeah. And these are our leaves. These are our leaves. Leave it to the leaves. So we'll line this with some of our oil. With a lot of our oil. <laughs> uh -uh. Like it, We've got some seasoning there. And we'll layer our fish in. So they've already been cut. You could use teriki, you could use wairoho. Waraho, you could use snapper. Paruhi tenoho, it sits there perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. Our winner, what are those? These are lemon leaves. So they're just, it's just putting that citrus flavour in there. And we'll just throw a few of these on, just because we like a bit of chilli with our fish. Mm -hmm. And then we put the rest of our oil. So just kind of spread it over. So we'll take our lime. Kaimate mata, and it looks beautiful. The smells are amazing, eh? Sea salt with fish, always sea salt. Yeah, you're not scared of the salt, are you? No way. So that's it. And you could make this ahead. You could wrap it up like this, put it in the fridge and cook it, you know, later in the day or whatever. Mm -hmm. So how long will it take to cook? Oh, this will take about 25 minutes, 20 minutes. How hot is that oven? Hot. Because you want the oil to sizzle. Mm. So go, I'd say like 190, 200. We're on to the huamata. We're making a salad to have with the fish. We're going to do spinach. Could you use silver beet as well? Do I put noi hone? So just for a short. Really short time. Kai ora hoki and nice and healthy. So what we'll do, we'll go like this. And we'll let that drain really well. Wai hoki apena. So we just leave it. We don't need to muck around. Just press it. Okay. Yep. Want to be nice and dry. We'll leave that. Wai hoki While. Side there. Um, do you want to take some of these and then just halve them? Okay. That's enough of that. OK, 
Okay, cucumbers. We've given them a bit of a peel, not too much. Do one. Just cut them into pieces like this. So I'm going to chop the spinach a bit. Just a rough chop. Cucumber to spinach like, ratio? Like a little less than the spinach. And the same with the tomatoes. Considerably spring less spring onions. Natural milk. Yep. Don't need too much. Salt and pepper. So it's still a covering. Yep. Just going to mix it like this. This is really just by the eye. Want it here, here, or so you want it to be quite moist? Yeah, almost covered. like a mayonnaise. But yeah. you know, if the if the coconut milk's thin, that's okay too. Yeah. Yeah. So there we are. Now we're going to add a little bit of lime juice. Citrusy on the milk. So this is good to go. We just put this into a salad bowl now and garnish it with our fresh coconut. The fish, you just open it up, squeeze a fresh lime, have some salt and pepper handy, some hot sauce, good to go. Put the mix oh, in there. Boy. Oh, wow. Mm, that is such yeah. a taste explosion. And the spinach and coconut, who knew that that was such a good combination? I'm sorry, Kahawai, I underrated you for a while there. And I suppose we should eventually focus on dessert. So what's our first step here? Make our sauce. Okay. So we're making a kind of a caramelly, minty, kokosamoa sauce for a banana split. Wow. Yeah? That just sounds like an amazing combination. You make the sauce with a cup of coconut sugar. You soften that in the pan. You add about a, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of Heilala vanilla paste. A uh, shot of rum, you chop up some mint and put it in. That's a very Tongan to add mint to the, the coconut caramel sauce. Bring it to a boil, add your coconut cream, about two cups of coconut cream, and then when that's all soft, you add about half a cup of grated coco samoa. Boil it away, strain it, good to go. And that just makes it all go dark and delicious. That's some brown goodness in there. Panana maika. Cut them lengthways like this. So if you were using the oven, you just put them in like this as a sort of roasting dish thing? Yeah. We're sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon. There we are. And then coconut sugar. And then we're going to blast it into we bananas, Bill. Yeah. So you're just caramelising the banana a little bit. So you're kind of toasting it. Yeah. I think we can eat pretty soon, don't you? I think so too. So we have a classic banana split dish here. We're going to lay one or two banana sides into the dish, scoop of vanilla ice cream, and then a little bit of our sauce, a bit of coconut, a bit of coco samoa, a bit of mint, voila. Yeah. Wow. Kare onarite. There's nothing like this. Tenakwe te matanga me o matauranga maha. Thank you so much for sharing all your food knowledge and your love of the Kai of the Pacific. I really feel like I could make this. I could definitely enjoy it. Narere e kore mutsunga me hikiakwe. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. And I'll just eat some more. Yep. Really was just pausing. Yeah, don't, don't, don't stop, honey. Don't not stop. <laughs>